so many important issues. Uh, when I was president of the General Assembly, there was, a, there was a formula for the United Nations which is applicable both to regional and national governments, re regional organizations and national governments. It is, there is no peace without development, and there is no development without peace, and uh, there is no peace or development without respect of human rights and rule of law. And uh, I've covered practically all that, uh, that uh, uh, agenda during these meetings. Uh, on development, of course, uh, I'm, very, I'm very glad that today the post-2015 development agenda uh, was adopted. The Emerging African Common Position was, was adopted. Uh, the African countries are making great progress on Millennium Development Goals. Uh, this country, Ethiopia, by the way, is uh, aiming to achieve six out of the eight Millennium Development Goals. Uh, there are still many, many uh, many things to do. Uh, I think there are particularly problems with the area of water and sanitation and, uh, and uh, health, maternal health. Uh, by the way, I'm visiting a, uh, a water and sanitation project outside Addis before I leave tomorrow. Uh, I need to also see uh, the field activities. Um, I also want to remind everybody of the importance of the issues related to agriculture and food security. This was uh, the, uh, one of the main purposes of this uh, summit and uh, uh, I was glad to see how much progress was made on that front. Uh, and also in that context, the role of, of uh, women, the women's empowerment in agriculture, as I noted, as a special feature. Um, before I leave the development area, I also want to say that it was uh, very Satisfactory for me to have at my side uh, former President John Kufor of Ghana, who uh, is a special envoy for uh, climate change, together with the former Prime Minister of Norway, Jens Stoltenberg. And they are here to mobilize leaders' support for a summit meeting that the Secretary General Ban Ki moon is organizing on the 23rd of September in New York. And we got assurances from several uh, leaders that they will attend this meeting. I think we're all reminded. Uh, that nature is not completely at ease with, with what is happening. You see the vehemence of uh, floods, and hurricanes, and droughts, and it is affecting the lives of people on the ground all over. And uh, we need to take uh, the issues related to sustainability and climate change seriously. On the political front, of course, there are a number of uh, dramatic, dramatic situations. Uh, we follow with particular concern and anxiety developments around uh, uh, Central African Republic and uh, Southern Sudan. Uh, we will institute a program in the United Nations called Rights Up Front, which means that we must act earlier on human rights violations because they can easily turn into mass atrocities. Uh, we are in a situation where we uh, face these dangers right now, both in Central African Republic and South Sudan, and in some cases Certainly, already atrocities have been committed. Uh, we have to do everything to uh, stop this uh, process from deteriorating further, and uh, the cooperation with the African Union is absolutely essential in this regard. Uh, the um, efforts of um, African Union and MISCA uh, in uh, Central African Republic are crucial. Uh, we support fully uh, MISCA, we will do everything we can to be helpful for that effort. They will soon hopefully arrive to the 6,000 uh, uh, men and pre women presence in the Central African Republic. Uh, and we also note that the European Union has added to the 1,600 French uh, a contingent of uh, approximately four to 500 uh, Europeans. Uh, I think this is a sign of the universal concerns around the Central African Republic and that security has to be established. But we, of course, cannot find security or find stability or achieve stability and safety for the population sent out to the public on the, by military means alone. There has to be a political process, and uh, we should welcome, and uh, we welcome indeed, the election of Mrs. Samba Panza as head of state of the transitional car, Sierra, and the formation of new government. And we will meet with the prime minister of uh, this future government tomorrow. I will have talks with him, and he will also hear at a pledging conference for MISCA and uh, Central African Republic tomorrow. And I hope that we will see substantial contributions from, uh, from members.
United States uh, so that MISCA can perform the, this extremely important task that they have at hand. Uh, the United Nations has also been uh, mandated and requested by the Security Council to study whether a peacekeeping operation could be established. We are asked, the Secretary General will report to the Council in the end of February on that issue. But uh, we see the short-term uh, situation so critical that we will now put all focus on the present situation and then we will see what kind of decision the Security Council will take. Uh, we uh, very much count on a, on a very seamless uh, cooperation with the uh, African Union on this issue and will give, as I said, all support to the present efforts to establish security.